on this day 20 years ago in New York City where you had the Twin Towers, uh, the World Trade Center, and then and, uh, at the Pentagon uh, was attacked. And also in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, there was a plane that went down. The World Trade Center, I can remember just like yesterday, watching to the day show and seeing something that I just, was this real? Was it real? And the plane went into the building and then shortly another plane went into the other building and uh, we knew that we were under attack. We were under Remember attack. the first responders, the policemen, the firefighters and all and the individuals who rushed into danger to save people. It was a tragic event uh, that took place. At the when the planes crashed into the Pentagon, and into a field in Pennsylvania. When those two towers fell in New York City 20 years ago, I myself was a New Yorker. I have no new story that adds any more color or insight to that day that hasn't already been told a million times. But I do want to echo an observation that I've seen others make that bears reflection today, something that happened in our country in the aftermath of that tragedy that hadn't happened for many decades prior nor hasn't been seen since. For an all too brief period of time, as the dust began to settle and we struggled to come to grips with what just happened, Americans from coast to coast experienced a wave of kindness for each other that was real, that was palpable. And you know what I remember most about the immediate days that followed on that tragic and horrific event that Americans everywhere responded with a wave of kindness, gentleness, and compassion for each other. We took the worst that was thrown at us and immediately responded with the best that humanity had to offer. We lined up for miles that next day to donate blood because we just didn't know what else we could do. First, I just want to thank Reverend Thompson Bia, for their remarks about 9-11. I remember that very clearly because when I turned the TV on and saw what was happening, I thought I was watching a movie. I said, this cannot be real here in the United States, but it was. So just go to show you things can happen anywhere. We just have to be prepared. So it's about unity. Just like Bill said, after the 9 elect tech, we saw all kinds of unity, people coming together. It doesn't take a major tra tragedy to bring the people together. And we just think about what's in our heart. What we want to do to make the community better for everyone and be willing to work together with others, we can accomplish those tasks. So and being reminded that day in the years moving forward, just how precious our nation is, just how much we value our freedom, just how much we all owe this country. On today, what we recognize is that 9-11 and the sacrifice that so many made, it calls us towards a higher purpose. It calls us to continue on that journey towards a more perfect union. It calls us not to seek division or despair, but to bring all of us together as Americans, as South Carolinians, to push this nation forward, to push this great cause forward, this cause that I know all of you care about, this cause that is near and dear to my heart and near and dear to all of yours. Today marks uh a significant milestone in the history of America. 20 years ago, on this day, we were attacked. And I just want to say this. I started off my morning at the Clyburn Fellows talking about politics and what we do. And here we are today, out here together, socially distanced, having some fish, honoring Floyd Nicholson, 
But most importantly, we are out here participating in democracy. That means that we won. That means that 20 years ago today, it didn't necessarily affect our democracy. It made us stronger. Yeah. And that's something that we can be proud of as we gather here participating in the freedom of making sure that our democracy survives, Senator. Yeah.